Hello, Space Cadets. This is just an official white bitch here, and I'm just letting, you know, like, I'm just... I'm learning to just expect a certain amount of bullshit from people anymore, because I'm literally tired of people being so fake. If you like me, fine. If we get along, that's fine. If you don't fucking like me, act like you don't fucking like me. I don't care if you look at me and fucking give me the dirty looks. I have people that do that to me all the time because they don't fucking like me, but I know they don't like me. I know at that point where I stand with them. Sometimes I sit and wonder why they don't like me because usually it's people I've never fucking personally done anything to, but at least I know at that point that you don't like me or you do. Don't fake being nice to me. Don't be nice to me for no good goddamn reason. I also don't want you to kiss my ass. Like, don't be nice to me in hopes of getting something from me, because it's not going to happen. And I know at certain lines of work, you're expected to be nice and courteous. I get it if it's for a job. I get it if I go to a fucking convenience store and someone's nice to me, even when the store is packed and there's fucking 80 people behind me in line and it's the only register and there's only one other person there with them. I get it. I get when they're being nice, because they're going to get, like... Props from their boss. They're gonna get, you know, that's their job. They deal with it every day, and it's part of their job to be nice to people, even in that situation. But otherwise, if you're nice to someone, and that's not how you really feel, you're kissing their fucking ass. I don't need anyone kissing my ass, okay? I don't fucking need it, and I don't care for it, and I don't care to be lied to, and I don't care to be fucking had a show put on for me. And nothing really brought this up. I was just thinking out loud today. Also, if you don't like me and you actually show me you don't like me, it's not going to keep me from going to the store or the business. Because guess what? People have bad days, and I understand if someone has a bad day and they're mean to somebody. That doesn't mean your whole store is a fucking asshole pelvis. An asshole pit, you know? That doesn't mean you're always like it. There's a pizza shop in my town that, in my opinion, they have good strombolis, they have good pizza, everything. But every time I go there, everyone that works there looks at me like I'm a second-class fucking citizen. They act like they don't like me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did to them. But I just feel like they don't like me. You know, I could be overreacting. It could be my anxiety. It just could be the, the fact that everyone looks like they're about to slaughter me. But they make great food, so I don't... It's not going to stop me from going there if I'm hungry for their food. Just like if you work at a gas station slash convenience store and someone needs fucking gas, they're not going to not go to your store because they look in the window and see that you're working that day. They're going to go, oh, fucking great, i got to go clean 20 miles down the road to get my gas. No. Just be who you are. I'm sick of this whole fucking world being fake as fuck because they're afraid of not selling their brand. They're afraid of not being friends. They're afraid of not looking a certain way to a certain fucking person. Kiss my ass. I don't care. I don't give a shit. And I also want to talk about this YouTube Heroes business. You want to know what this really is beyond a load of fucking horse shit? It's trying to make you comfortable with censoring yourself. By giving you rewards for doing it and giving you privileges for doing it. It's trying to make it cool. Giving it a cool name as well, calling it being a YouTube hero. You're not a hero of anything except for helping ruin the fucking internet for everybody. Because it starts with YouTube, who is also a connection of Google and a partner of Google, I'm pretty sure, because of Google+. Plus, and then all of Google and all of fucking Facebook and all of everything else. And there are a certain level of censoring. A certain level of censoring I understand. If someone uploads a video of a dog being murdered by a farmer in a rude way, in a fucking, like, horrible way that's going to give people nightmares and make people have post-traumatic stress disorder, panic attacks, that being censored or removed, I totally fucking understand. But even then, if it's removed from one website, there are websites that allow that kind of content for whatever reason, and they know there's people out there that want to see it. 
And just because somebody wants to watch something like that does not mean they want to go out and kill a dog. They might have a very morbid curiosity in their brain about what it looked like and what it sounded like and what, you know, happened to the dog. Or they may need to show a courtroom full of people evidence in order to get this person locked up. But I, you know, I realize certain censoring is purposeful and has a reason. But making it cool to censor everyone around you is just enabling these victim complexes and this martyr stereotype and attitude that our fucking generation is adopting. And yeah, I know people in younger generations that don't give a fuck. It's where they grew up. It's where they grew up is why they don't give a fuck. And they don't give a fuck yet. But when they get older, they're going to be like, wait a minute, that is offensive, that is wrong, that is fucked up. In reality, it's just a fucking joke 90% of the time. That's why getting offended doesn't work for anybody. If you take everything personally in your life, you're going to get fucking fucked up by everything. And this goes in along with the first point of my video, which was I'm starting to expect a certain amount of bullshit from everyone. Because... If I start accepting bullshit, and expecting it even, I'm not going to take everything so personally. I know I look fat, I know I look ugly, I know I'm eating cottage cheese, because I like cottage cheese. And I haven't had it for a couple months, so fuck you if you don't like that. I'm filming this way because I don't know how else to film right now, I don't have a tripod, I don't have a cannon, whatever. And I never will, okay? I will never have a fucking tripod and a $2,000 camera. Unless at some point they invent a $2,000 camera that has little legs built into the bottom that you hit a button and they come out and it stands on its fucking own and you also can program it to follow you throughout the house and videotape you. At $2,000, put it this way, what can a camera do for $2,000 compared to a $2,000 laptop? A $2,000 laptop can do a fuck ton more than a $2,000 camera. But anyways, it just, it's just getting to the point in our society where they're trying to get you to break your, and this is going to sound like a conspiracy theory, but it's honestly the fucking truth. They're trying to get you to fall for this. Oh, we'll give you this if you tattle on everyone. And then eventually, you're starting to understand, you know, what's worth it and what isn't worth it to post on the internet. So if someone flags you, you're okay with it. Because I understand, I made a mistake, I slipped up, blah, blah, blah. And sooner or later, everyone's just comfortably numb with this idea of censoring themselves. And not saying certain words, and not doing certain things, and not filming certain parts of their life. Because... Even though they used to do it all the time and no one seemed to care and they were happy doing that. They're comfortably numb to the idea that it's okay, I get it, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Which is bullshit. Human life does not only take place in a fucking room full of rainbows and fucking flowers and fucking ponies. <sighs> Human life takes place in many fucking facets and many areas of the world in many different ways. Hell, there's people that are born during fucking tornadoes in the back of a Walmart parking lot. There are people who are fucking born in the middle of Zimbabwe in the fucking jungle. You know, and it's just... It's... I mean, I don't really know what I'm getting at with this, but... It's like, people start their lives in a lot of different ways. Their life goes in a lot of different directions. And some people, they like showing their life to other people and teaching people from their experiences. And if someone wants to do that on the site, they should not be told, oh, you can't do that because you used this word, or because your video contains this product, or because you're in this location, or because you said this thing. There were videos that weren't even about actual ISIS, but had ISIS in the tags that were fucking flagged. The reason ISIS was in the tags is so the video would pop up if somebody searched for ISIS. So that someone would view that video, possibly even by fucking accident. Because everyone's trying to fucking make revenue on this website. And someone tells you, I don't care about ad revenue. 
their channel is very new, and they obviously have other things to do with their time, and they have other things to do with their life that they want to do with their life, which is fine. Oh, and they obviously got a job somewhere else. The reason I want my YouTube channel to take off is because it seems like no one else is willing to fucking hire me. Sorry for your chewing sounds, I know it's gross. And I know you're saying to yourself, Jess, why wouldn't anyone hire you? You're smart, you're funny, you're gorgeous sometimes. I mean, I know. Here's why they won't hire me. Because in my area, 90% of the fucking girls that are my age are a foot shorter than me. 160 pounds less than me. And talk like this. And giggle at everything. And are happy all the time. Because they're probably popping opiates in their spare time. And they don't have a real outlook on life yet. Because even if they don't get the job, mommy and daddy will still pay for their fucking Lexus. Like, fuck you, okay? And yes, I've had jobs in the past. I've had jobs in the past. I've had times where I didn't have a job. I've had times where I've, you know, I was living with my parents for a long time. Now I'm living somewhere else and I'm trying to do the adult thing and get a job and it feels like no one's going to fucking cut me a break. And that's literally what it would be. It wouldn't be an honest chance. It would be someone cutting me a break because another part of it is a lot of these girls are related to somebody else who already works at the store or they're related to the head of the store or they're related to the fucking owner of the store. And my fucking God, I am so sick of the bullshit. It all depends on who you know and who you blow, basically, in this area of this particular fucking state. And honestly, I'm so sick of it. Like, if you don't honestly give people a chance because of how you think they're going to do rather than what they did during the interview, like, how a person acts during a fucking hour-long interview is not how they are going to be their entire fucking life. They might have been having a bad day, they might have been awkward, they might have been sick, they might have not felt well, you don't fucking know. Ugh. 